Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your Practice Production Pearl of the Week. What does your data tell you? So we recently met a client, I love to bring these real life stories, who actually met with the consultant and had one of those big, really multi-inch loose leaves full of data and spreadsheets and charts and graphs. The only problem was she didn't understand it. And she told the consultant that. She goes, I compile all this information every month, but I don't really know what it's telling me. In the business world, we talk about big data. That's a term. Big data means there's so much data coming in that you don't know what to do with it. I am a fanatical believer in simplicity. You want to make everything as simple as you possibly can. Complex doesn't get implemented and complex isn't understood. What are the key numbers, the key data that will tell you about your practice? So let's take a look. Production. Production tells you more than any other metric how you're doing. Collections, profit, overhead, doctor income, all important. Average production per patient, average production per new patient, numbers of new patients, and a few more. That's it. That's really all you have to know. Now, I asked myself, well, wait a minute, is that all I have to know or you have to know? Because I said, I challenged myself. I said, well, I've done this job for 39 years. I've been looking at dental data for most of those years. Do I need less information now to form a conclusion or can dentists do it as well? And I've decided that dentists can do it as well. You don't need endless data. You need about 12 pieces of key information. Now, if something's off, the exception report, so to speak, then you dig deeper. But if you've got about 12 to 15 key numbers and you look at them regularly, they will tell you how you're doing. For example, we see new clients, productions up, profits down. Well, we already know then, overhead is eating into the equation. And we're seeing that even more right now with staffing costs going up and inflation. Uh, and eventually that inflation will simply stop being called inflation. It'll just be a new level of expense. So you want to pay attention to those key numbers and not try to look at giant amounts of data or no data, just as bad, and look at those key numbers and understand your practice at the right level. Then if you don't follow it, you can ask an expert for more guidance guidance, someone who's working with practices all the time and knows what those numbers mean, like a CPA or a consultant. Sorry, my phone went off. I apologize, but I'm at the end of our pearl. I really like it. I hope you like it. Always want to be useful and helpful, and I'll see you next week.